Big international sporting event begins this weekend. Where, where are you from? South Korea. South Korea? You're missing yeah. the Olympics, aren't you? Uh, are you? So, no English. That's okay. She is fluent in canine. This is Roxham. There was a big piece of stuff in his mouth. As are the thousands gathering in New York for the 142nd annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. I've been coming here for 40 years. 40 years? Yes. Erica Lanasa missed the first 102 shows, but only because she wasn't alive for most of them. Uh, it's, the, it's the Olympics of our sport. We look forward to it. We make a pilgrimage every year. So she drives from Florida with eight dogs. She's one of the humans of the dog show, which helped make this such a colorful event. My name is Jerry Grimek. Hello again. Hello. I am the doggy concierge in charge of pooch relations at New York's Hotel Pennsylvania. This week, a five-paw hotel, he'll tell you, and half of the 1,600 rooms have dogs. His job is to cater to them, literally. It could be chicken sandwiches, seven cheeseburgers with no onions. Well, someone wanted an opera singer to serenade their dog in the lobby. Now, she might be a little snippy right now. Gail Rakani thought her blue merle Pomeranian Demi might be taking a cat nap, getting beauty sleep, but she wanted us to see their pageant outfit. Okay, this is her gown that was made for her. Can you say it? I can. They will be parading around together like they were at the ball. It's like being Cinderella. I cannot even tell you the fact that I get to be blessed to be part of the show with all the amazing people and the animals. I love my doggies. I have three. And uh, like they're my children. And that's how these people are. Like for them to be dressed up all the time is an everyday occurrence. The dog show runs through Tuesday. It's fun to watch the humans too. The Sweet Spot. I'm Mike Sugarman, WCBS News Radio 880.